Good afternoon, good afternoon, welcome to my channel. It's that time of the year again, guys, where we get creative and challenge ourselves to fill our journals. So it's Let's Fill Our Journal Challenge and we're going to get creative. This is the box I did last year and it's chockers. But um, we're not going to worry about that. There's some bits and pieces of one out of there, obviously. But... Um, what we're going to do is start on some page turners. I'm not going to show you this because there is an actual video. So I thought I would start with making something that can be written on and turned into a pocket. Um, so I don't know what to call this. Maybe a flippy uppy and downer. I don't know. But um, what I'll do, I'll make a couple. Like this Let's Fill Our Journal Challenge. Normally, I would do something every day in regards to a tuck spot. And this is what this will be, a tuck spot and something I can actually write on or if I'm selling the journal, something they can write on if that's what they want to do. I've done these in a live stream uh, quite some time ago and um, I really like them. Make sure. Ugh. The ruler is proving to be difficult. Maybe if I do it that way. It just makes me awkward. I might find some scissors. What I like about these, you've got a lot of um, journaling spots with them. And that's what I like to do. So, if I've got a journal here, I think I have. So, normally I would fold them like so. Depending, and I would sometimes use plain paper. I'm going to do three of these. And then we're going to decorate them and I'll show you how they go in a book. Um, so we might go in another direction with this one. Actually, we might use Junk Journal January for this because I've still got to um, fill that journal up. So this challenge, like I said, you can do up to three to seven things a week. So we might have tags one week. Um, we might have all sorts of things. But here's Junk Journal January. And we'll find somewhere where we want this to go. And I'm not going to put it down yet in case I want to sew it. I've still got to do the maps page. Um, so... There was a flip out here. We might decorate that actually. Because I didn't do that, did I? Um, gosh, this requires thought, guys. I didn't think of that, you know, when I started Junk Journal in January. That whatever I do, I might require thought. I wonder if I can put that down. And we'll try and decorate it um, first. So what I'm thinking... Um, 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 um. She did require thought, didn't it? And I didn't think... Um, just don't want the glue to get on anything so I'm just going to use that and we're going to glue something down here I don't know what I have got plenty of stuff I don't want to get glue everywhere that's the problem um and then we can actually do something with this book page like I said it's for my journal and just tuck spots this week we're going to do um, I'm not going to show you everything. Um, normally, like I said, I create seven items. 
one a day for seven days. I might even go across this halfway through. I didn't think this through, guys, but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to... I want to really fix this page up and I don't want anything to go past there. Okay. Now, I know there's a page here because I've seen it earlier that I printed the other day and I want it. I want it. Um... And I can't remember the artist. Um, let me see, let me see. So, this will fit nicely, I reckon. No, it won't. You've got to be careful with that pit glue because it, it really, really sticks, guys. I have to make sure it is straight. There you go. Oh no. I'm not good today. Oh, it's been stressful to start with today, guys, you know. Like I couldn't couldn't for the life of me get started. I want it to start somewhere like you I bet you someone's saying to me just line it up on one page at a time but you know what it's not that easy to do I've got to line it up with the bottom so we'll do that and if it's a bit crooked I can fix it oh that's better no it's not oh and it's getting less tacky, the glue. Maybe that looks better. No, I think this page is actually awfully crooked, you know, so we're gonna have to just line it up as best we can. And I'm just gonna do like so. That's better. That's better. And I can't remember the artist's name. I really can't. Um, I might do something there, actually. Because I don't like the look of it. Um, do you know, this is what happens when you don't plan. And I don't plan. It won't matter if it's torn. I'm just going to glue that down. Move that out of the road. Like I said, it, it doesn't always work out for me the way I want, but I want to show you how I actually do these little tucks. They're fun. I want to make three, only putting one in this journal. Because, so I remember, I want to put one into my journal of ideas. You know what I mean? I hope I'm not getting glue everywhere. There. Now, we're going to take that away, that away. Very awkward when you're doing something like this and um, you're doing it this way because um, what ends up happening is um, yeah, if, you, if you didn't do it from the start, it's all crooked. Well, I'm hoping it's not going to be crooked. That should be all right. I'll have to decorate a bit more, but a pocket's going in there, so it doesn't matter. So I'll just use a scissors to cut with. And that's pretty good now. And what I'm going to do, normally I'll wait till it dries, guys, but anyway, we're not going to stress it out. I think it will be okay. Yeah, it is. That, um, this glue is fantastic. So now I've done that, I want to create a pocket there, I think. I think, I think, I think, I think. And I haven't did it properly. Hang on a minute. 
normally this is the way I do it. So it would glue on about there. Can you see what I'm doing? Just hang on a second and I'm going to get some proper glue to stick it down by the side. And what I normally do, I make sure it's even and I nip a little bit there and there. Just to give me a little bit of a, and I'll even do it there, and a tiny bit there. I don't want to do too much there. Oh, I've got flies munching on me. I'm in the garage, guys, and it's just a little bit awkward. I might have nipped a bit too much there, but anyway, it'll be okay. And I'll show you what happens. And what I do is I'll glue down here and down here and a thin glue piece of glue strip i did a bit too much but it doesn't matter so that's going like that and this is going to go like so and then we're going to decorate that and what i like about this way of doing it is you're going to have a lot of journaling so if you are busy like I am in your journals, you will be able to flip that out and flip that out that way. But what I'm going to do is glue that down a little bit more because that's where I've pulled at it too much. And that should be right. Oh, flies are munching on me. And it makes it hard to journal. And I haven't got enough light to do it um, through, through the night. You know, you've got to do it in the morning. Alrighty. So, I'm going to nip a little bit there and a little bit here. To keep it even. Okay. So, now we decorate these. See how it gives you a lot of journaling space? And then if you want to, you can actually put something there, a pocket, which I have done in the past. I'll show you some that I've done in the past if you want. So I'm going to utilise that picture um, to decorate this. Um, ruler. What did I do with it there? And we're just going to labour it a bit. Like I said, I did these in a group once before, and they're just really good to journal on. I normally would sew, but I can't sew, can I? Because I can't pause this video. So what I'm going to do is get some laces. And some bits of stuff to layer with. Um, got some vintage lace. I've got I wanna layer as much as possible. That looks cool actually. So I might take a bit of this. It makes it awkward because I really need something under it. I'll bring that journal back to decorate it. To decorate it. Um, So maybe, no, nah, it doesn't look right. Um, I think I only really need a bit of colour. I need a bit of colour. So, I'm thinking, I'll cut this out. If I can, if I can. Oh, maybe not. Um, no. It's not going to go. 
I'm trying to think of something that will go well on this. I'm trying to think of the lady who I bought these off. And for the life of me, I can't remember. Um, Dust to Roses. I've been using her digis a lot lately. Oh, I love them. Where's something that's in there? Um, this is going to be a long process by the look of things. Because for some reason, nothing wants to come together yet. You know what I mean? Um, you know when you stop doing a video, that's what happens to you. Now I might have found something. Might have found something. I'm going to add a dash of colour. Oh. And what I'll do here, I'll do a bit of ripping. Like so. And I think it needs a bit of cutting here. Oh, you know, like, honestly, when you go away from the camera for a while, it's like a big headache to get back into it. <laughs> now I'm liking it. I'm liking it, guys. Um, thing is, I don't know what to... So I'm just going to move that around so it doesn't get where it shouldn't. So I'm going to decorate these. And like I said, this is extra writing space. It's extra everything for you, you know, plus more decorating. Whoops. This is really sticky stuff. I actually really like it. I really, really do. So I'm going to put it like so. We're going to find a picture. Oops. There's flowers. I don't know whose kit that was, but... That was pretty cute too, you know, like, it's amazing how many different artist series out there and you can actually um, create layers. Um, I'm just seeing what I've got. There's double of this. Why is there double? And I can't get it off. Um... I might do something like so, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to use the bits you tore from to make it work. And then we're just going to find a nice picture to move that aside. My crazy crafting this is, but anyway, it, look, honestly, it, it works for me. And look, I figure if something works for you, don't change your habits. I don't want to cut that one. Maybe, no, no. Um, I don't know. I'm looking to see what I've got because this is the journal. Don't do January and I don't want to... Ah, there you go. That might work. Oh, that's looking pretty. And what I like to do is... Ah, there it is. Oh, I'm getting in a kahuffle, guys. In a kahuffle. But it's all good. It's all for a good cause. It's to craft, isn't it? Like, this video looks a bit shadowy, but anyway. I'm just thinking. Like, so maybe. And a bit of lace there. 
I love this lace. It's pretty old. And if I was to oops, um, pull at it, it would actually tear. But I just want a little bit for up here. There you go. So now I want to put that down. And I put this down. And we're going to put her down. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but anyway, I'm working backwards and this video isn't the best, but I want to start this challenge, you know, to fill my journal. I've got stacks of stuff, but I know a lot of you haven't, so this is ideal for those that haven't. And I'm going to sit that like so. Oh, isn't that pretty? And I need some scissors because we're going to clip her foot off. And we're going to find a word or something to put on there. And basically what we've done, guys, is created a tuck spot. And writing space. I'll be more organised next time. I'll know what I'm doing and it'll make life easier. It's a lot of noise out here. And I can't do nothing about it. I'm going to do that. Then we're going to put a stamp on it. As you know, I like using my stamps. Looks up pretty. I don't know what though. Bird. There's things about kids and birds that I really love. And I use it quite a bit in my journals. Kids and birds. And mushrooms, actually. There you go. So now what you've created is basically a tuck spot. Take that down because we don't need it. And I'll move that away. And you have created these interesting tuck spots where you've got extra journaling space, like so. And if you want to, you can put a pocket there. I'm choosing not to. I think I've done some in a journal where there is pockets. You can decorate there if you want. But all I'm going to do with this is put that down. I'm going to rip that away. Should I do it there? And put it down. I'll use it as washi, guys, and um, decorate the page. I kept these pretty simple when I did them in the group. I'm sure I did. I, I think I got the, the right journal where I actually did do them. Um, I couldn't find the other journal, so it must have been must have got sold. I'd say. Okay. And what you can do to even make it more interesting, because we used a bird on the other side, we can use that bird here. And that will go quite well. And I'm not going to bother trimming it or anything like that, you know, and it probably does need trimming. Because um, it's just where I want a journal on the inside of it. I just want it to look that good. Oh, now the glue stuck. Oh, I'm just not having an interesting time of it, really. I'm thinking to myself. Um, where's my glue stick here? And I'm getting in a ribald mess. And 
and I'll be sticky by the end of this, but who cares? At least I'm junking, guys, and I'll chill out because it's been a very bad few weeks trying to get things organised. My craft room's still not organised. It's in the garage of all places, but it's good, you know what I mean, because it gives me a lot of space. There you go. And if you want to... Um, mm, not that. Put a bit of washi. Or, where's that page I torn? I'm one to break pages up, you know, like try to try to um, break it up. And that will go. Oh, that's pretty. So I'm going to use that. Things happen for a reason, they say. And I've got nothing to take the goo off my hands, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We're just going to do that. And that just broke it a bit, you know. And look at that. And you've got it. That's completed. You've got a pocket tuck spot inside of a flip out so yeah we'll make a couple of these with the next one i'm going to make sure that's stuck before oh yeah before we create the next one this journal's filling up nicely so really what we've done is we created some layering and there's an envelope that goes in there i'll put it back and that goes like so, and then like so. So let's create another one. I'm only going to do two. You guys get the gist of it. So say you wanted it a bit smaller. Um, well, here it is here. And you wanted it to come out of the page. You would glue it there and there. Hang on a minute. We'll just see if there's something a little bit simple in here we can put it in. There normally is where I don't have to muck around so much. Oh, someone's opening the water. Oh, no. Can you hear that rattling and rolling? I want to decorate that um, here. Okay. So with this one, we are going to nip it there. Nip it there. And we're going to leave the others alone. And hopefully this glue, if I cut a bit of paper, um, I can wipe it away. Oh. Yeah, and what I'm going to do is glue it down here just a thin line of glue my glues are very bad because of traveling and because it's been summer there and we're going to put this one there because we want to fill junk journal january anyway oops I'm just thinking my eyes are crooked today. <laughs> okay, so that will open like that and like so. And the beauty of this, I won't have to break the page. It's already got something there. Um, now we'll decorate it. And when I decorate, I don't care if the paper is ripped. Because it, it just looks good, guys. It really does. So I'll decorate it and then I'll um I'll cut that paper away. I'm just a collager, you know, I just like to collage and it looks good. Um and I've created spots for it. I want a journal or 
it's for somebody else or whatever. You know what I mean? If I was doing it for somebody else. And that stuck down well. Oops. And we're going to trim that. And trim that little bit. And we'll trim that little bit. And it opens up. Let's find something to put on it. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I think I'd like another bird. No, I don't know if I like another bird. What would I like? Um... Like I said, I did all this photocopying. Do you think I can see it? I probably moved it around on my desk or something. You know, I don't know. Here it is, underneath. And I just want something from this. It's just gorgeous paper. I just printed on printer paper. Look at that. I like using that as a washi. I should have printed a little bit smaller. Oh, look at that page. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to give that a go, I think. No. I like the writing, though. Um... not working as correctly as I'd like it to guys I really like this sort of stuff but it's not going to go so oh, I'm going to think of something else yes I must have put things away in the drawer in the um, bedroom where my printer is because I honestly can't see oh here's something I really like and I'm just going to cut around her. Isn't she gorgeous? And that's what I'm going to do. Sometimes things just pop out in front of your face, I tell you. Um, so I'm going to only do two. Uh, and then I'll show you what I made, if I make anything at all. Because, honestly, I have got so many... Um, things made but I do want to do this for our groups because um, I know they're like me and haven't got all their journals completed and that's why I want to do this challenge this is the fourth year we've run it in our group and honestly it's worth it I'm gonna because I don't want to wreck that picture so I'm going to do that like so. And um, I'm going to use this. And you see I'm just cutting without thinking, you know, thinking overthinking it too much. Because you don't want to overthink this project if you want to fill your journals. And I'm thinking if I do that, this might look good. Yeah. Okay, let's glue it down. Oh, if over enthusiastic guys, I'm thinking of the time when I really shouldn't be bothered about the time and just enjoying the process. I think it's because I've got too much to do st still, you know, and like I said, I might come every couple of, oh no, I might come every couple of days and and do two tuck spots. How's that sound to you? That might sound better, actually. And 
I'm going to trim that off. And I'm thinking I might put a bit of lace. A bit of lace. Um, I've got other laces. some vintage stuff or something before I put the other thing down. I don't know. Oh, there you go. And then maybe that across it. Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, I might do that, you know. Every few days, come and do a couple. It might be quicker next time too. Like I said, being away from the camera does make me stressed, you know, for, to get back on and do stuff. But we want to make a couple of tuck spots because um, this is what will make this really um, project really well. Oh, that's pretty. There we go, like so. And we're going to put something else there. Yeah, there's a car driving in. Oh, that's all right. So what I might do... I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe one or two. Tell you what, it does look good though. It does look good. And then we just need a Tracy Fox label or a stamp, I reckon. I really love working this way, I tell you. Um, is there anything in here? Yeah, I have um, problems getting organised when I move. I don't know about you guys, but I do. You know what I mean? I wonder. I'll put that there, maybe. Or there. Or maybe that there and that there. Oh, that's better. And I might get a bit of washi or something. Like so. Oh, this screw's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Like so. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, a bit of washi. And we might make pretend washi. Uh, what did I do with the other one? I like sometimes using the same colour tones if I can. Um, I used a stamp and used some of the page. But I don't know if there's anything here. Yes, there is. Just work with what you got, guys. That's what I try and do. There you go. There you go. You're probably hearing me sounding a little bit frustrated. If I get organised, I wouldn't be frustrated, would I? And I'm going to put that like so. Oh, that looks cool. And I might get a little bit of pinchy washi there. Um, a 
and just when I need it, I probably won't find it, but I found this one and this might work. I just put it there. And I might use, I told you I work backwards, guys. You know, like, I don't know how to work any different, you know. But these little tucks with a few folds gives you journaling space. And um, I wanted to show you. So there it is, like so. You can um, do a bit of um, collaging in there if you want to, or just leave it all for writing. And it opens up like so. You can sew around this before you stick it down. I didn't. Look, I find these days you don't really need to do that. You know, like it will work out and work out quite fine. To do two tuck spots, it's taken me 40 minutes, but that's two pages that are done in Junk Journal January. And I'm filling the journal. And that's what it's all about, guys. It's filling this journal, getting it done. So thank you for watching, liking and subscribing. Bye for now. See you in a couple of days.